I am Chef Tommy V and I would like to welcome you to Vincent Country and today we're going to talk about a turkey pot pie with a biscuit topping. Listen, there's no need to waste any of your leftover meats. You can take them, you can shred them, and you can use them into a wonderful pot pie. So the ingredients to make this wonderful, delicious, delightful turkey pot pie, we have some chicken stock, we have some turkey meat, we have some gold potatoes, we have mushrooms, we have carrots, we have flour for our roux, we have butter, we have a blend, blended herbs, fresh herbs, we have some peas that were frozen, we have onions, and we have celery. Okay, so let's get started. So first, we have my favorite pot in the whole wide world, my large cast iron skillet. So it's the fire is on and we're actually, the pan is warm. So we're gonna get our butter in. Oh, and I dare not neglect my love spoon because it's all about the love in Vincent Country. All right. Okay, so we're gonna add in our onions. celery and our carrots first just get these sauteed off Now we're going to add in our flour, which is going to actually help to thicken the sauce that will be inside the chicken pot pie. Now I don't wanna add more fat than I already put into this, so as it goes along, you'll see that there'll be plenty of liquid in here to absorb the flour that we've added. Now from here, it's pretty simple. We're gonna be adding in the, our remaining ingredients and then we're gonna add in our liquid and our seasoning. So we'll add in our potatoes, our mushrooms, let's give it a stir before we add any additional. The peas are pretty tender so we don't want to manipulate them too much because then they'll become mushy. Add in our turkey. And as you can see, there are plenty of ingredients in this large skillet, which is what we're looking for because ultimately we have the ability to serve not only our family, but we can use this to feed another family as well. Caring is sharing. And now we'll add in our peas. And we'll gradually add in our liquid. The 
most important aspect of any dish is the seasoning. We're gonna add in our salt. Don't be afraid to be generous. You don't want your food to taste unseasoned. We'll add in our pepper. our sage and thyme. As these ingredients are coming together, we can start working on the biscuits that are going to be the nice layer of crust on the top. Okay, so now the part that is my favorite part of making this uh, turkey pot pie is the biscuit portion because I love, love, love biscuits. It just makes me feel like grandma's house. So let's add in our dry ingredients. Let me first tell you what ingredients we are using. So we have our flour, all-purpose flour. We have our mixture of herbs, which we have some rosemary, thyme, and sage. We have salt, we have our baking powder, we have buttermilk, and we have heavy cream. And this egg is going to be used to brush the top of the biscuits. And what that does is it adds color to the top of the, to the biscuits so they're not pale. Okay, so let's get started. We'll add in our flour first. So we have our flour in the bowl. Let's continue to add in our dry ingredients. We'll add in our baking powder, our salt, whoa, Jesus, our salt, and our herb mixture. We're gonna whisk all of these together, help us break up our clumps. And we have our cube chilled butter. It's important that the butter is cold because you wanna be able to break it down into your flour mixture and you don't want it to melt and, and spread out of your biscuits while they're cooking. So we'll put in our butter. just using a fork to get the butter coated with the flour because I'm actually going to use um, so you can either use your fork or you can use your pastry cutter to cut the fat into the flour I'm going to use the pastry cutter because it has saved me a whole lot of time the key objective in all of this is to break the fat down so that it's spread throughout all of the flour. That's gonna help it to be tender, and obviously we're using butter, so it's gonna give us great flavor. And you'll see it's starting to look like pea sizes in the flour. If the butter was not chilled, then it would just be mashing all around and it would, you wouldn't achieve the same results. That looks good. Okay, now our, you can see that our flour mixture you can see the crumbles in it, and it's kind of mealy. That, that's the butter that has adhered to the flour. So now we want to create a well in the center of our flour, that we're, and we're going to pour our wet ingredients right into that center. Buttermilk and our heavy cream. I'm going to start gradually with our heavy cream so we can see exactly where we are as far as texture is concerned because you don't want it to be too sticky. You want it to be pliable enough that we'll be able to roll it out on our cutting board. So I'm just 
bringing the ingredients together. And I use my spatula, my rubber spatula in the beginning just to prevent my hands from getting all gooey and gumpy. If you wanna go in with your hands immediately, it's your choice. together nicely so we don't need to add any further liquid to this particular mixture so I'm going to get it all together and we're going to put it on the cutting board and fold it a few times to create our flaky layering and then we'll be ready to cut our biscuits so we're gonna lightly dust our cutting board. And if you don't have a cutting board, you can actually roll your biscuits right out on your counter. But you still wanna make sure that you apply the flour. So we're gonna take our biscuit dough and we're gonna put it on our floured cutting board. I still have a little bit of our mixture stuck in the bowl, so I'm gonna get that out because we're not gonna waste not one ounce of it. Now we're gonna do some folding so that we can create those nice layers that I talked about. I'm just taking the dough and I'm turning it and I'm folding. That should do it. I'm gonna get a little flour, add a little more on the bottom because now we're rolling them out and we're cutting them and we wanna be able to take them right off the board. And I'm gonna lightly flour the top and put a little bit on my rolling pin. Let's roll them out. And we're gonna to go to maybe about, let's say maybe a quarter of an inch. And see how my dough is sticking right there? If I just add a little more flour, that won't happen. Rolls right on over it. So let's start cutting. And I go right up to my line so I'm not wasting the dough. I get as many out of this as I can before I bring the dough back together to cut out more biscuits. Okay, so let's move the top of our filling. And our filling is completely cooked all of the vegetables are tender, the, um, are fork tender, including the potatoes. So, and what, one of the reasonings behind getting this to the level of doneness that it's at is one, when we put this in the oven, we're really just looking for our biscuits to finish cooking. And then also the heat from our mixture is going to start cooking the underside of our biscuits, which will help that cooking process speed along as well. So we're going to layer the biscuits on top. I'm gonna start in the middle. So the middle is like my anchor and we're just gonna keep going around. And part of the goodness and the visual appeal will be to have this, one, the biscuits are going to, they're going to rise, so they're gonna to touch a bit, but also having that mixture coming through the bottom so people get a sneak peek of actually what's going on inside underneath here. So we'll place our biscuits around. Mm. 
Okay, now I'm going to take some cracked pepper after I do the egg wash. And the egg wash is gonna help bring the color to the tops of these biscuits. And then I'm gonna put some cracked pepper on top of the biscuits. It's gonna create a nice accent and also give that nice peppery taste when everybody takes their bite into their biscuits. So you just go over the top of the biscuits with the egg wash. Okay, now we're gonna add the cracked pepper. Right on top of each biscuit. Now all of the information specific to this recipe, the ingredients are all in the description below, um, as well as the entire full recipe, you can find that at VincentCountry.com. We have a preheated oven that is at 425. We're gonna take our pan and move it to the oven. Make sure you use oven mitts so you don't burn your hands off. This is heavy. We're gonna put it in the oven. And let the oven do its job. Okay, our pot pie should be all done. Oh my goodness, and yes she is all done. And look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Wow. It doesn't get any better than this. Who wouldn't want some of this? So the complete inspiration for the, this dish right here is when I think of a pot pie of any sort, I definitely think of warmth and comfort. And every food dish that comes out of Vincent Country comes straight from my heart. It's filled with my love, with you in mind. And in this particular case, my family will have the wonderful opportunity of enjoying this turkey pot pie. I hope you enjoy it too.